Don't forget to stay tuned till the end to watch a video by our sponsor. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of <laughs> India prides itself on being the biggest democracy on the planet. Well, maybe they're right. If by planet they mean Kepler-452b. I mean, it looks like Earth, but it ain't Earth just like India. It may look like a democracy, but it ain't no democracy. I mean, look at Kashmir, revoking CAA, suppressing local dissent, and now they're going international. Yes. Dang. So Debbie Abrahams, a British MP, who is outspoken on the atrocities of India in Kashmir. If you just look at her Twitter timeline, a quick glance would tell us really Swati that she's been extremely critical of the government and the moves it's made really. When she got there to visit friends, they decided not to let her in. She wasn't told why, but afterwards when questioned, being the Indian government, they tried to give a political answer saying, She came on the wrong visa. But she says, You're hearing what the Indian government is saying very clearly. You were not on a valid visa. Your e-visa they say was an e-business visa. It was not a visa which was meant for you to come to this country for what was seen to be a visit to meet friends and the government suspected also a visit to go to Jammu and Kashmir. With respect, they didn't know why I was coming into the country. Mm -hmm. So they never asked me. That never even was a question. Dang. It's coming out that they are just afraid. Some would say that they're fraidy cats or fraidy catty and catty and catty <laughs> catty <laughs> hopkins <laughs> catty <laughs> catty now being modi's india it wasn't enough that they embarrassed her they had to bully her by calling her pakistani proxy she's a pakistani agent quite clearly you should have jailed her you should have jailed her. You're being called a Pakistan proxy and ISI proxy. She should have been in Indian jail for some time. And we wonder why no one speaks out in the biggest democracy. Mr. Anub, the host of one of the most watched shows in India. Isn't he such a pleasant fellow? Majid, just fall in line. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Stop shouting. Can she become Majid. a member of parliament there? You no, are not only anti national, you are very badly behaved. Do you understand that? Simple English, Majid. Listen to me, Majid, for God's sake. The United Kingdom defends its interests and it has not for some time. Stop shouting. Alright guys, so Arnab's calling the guy furthest to the left disgusting. But have a look at his guy in the middle. You are also an extremely badly behaved individual with no discretion on your language. Very democracy-like, don't you think? Regardless, this woman is an absolute OG. So I will be continue to be critical to uh, the Indian government as long as there are human rights issues which have been independently reported. It reminds me of Catherine Gunn who exposed the UK and US plot to blackmail UN members to support the Iraq war. She worked for the GCHQ, the UK intelligence. They actually made a movie about her as well. You chose loyalty to your country over loyalty to your government, your marriage and yourself. Alright, maybe she's not at that level but you get my point, yeah? At least she's not a- Catty! Absolutely nothing to do with this. He's a Muslim. I'm sorry? Dang. Well, there you go guys. Let's hear from our sponsor. I want you to buy some bricks, but these bricks are very, very special. Those who buy them will get a house built in paradise. The Prophet wasallam said, whoever builds a masjid for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. Not only that, the masjid we build with your donation will give you reward for as long as it stands, which can be many years after you pass away. Every Salah that is prayed in there, five times a day, 365 days a year. Every Jum'ah that is attended by hundreds or thousands of people. All of those children 
learning and memorizing the words of Allah. Every person who breaks their fast in Ramadan in the masjid, you will get a slice of that reward coming straight to your scale of good deeds. On the day when our deeds will be counted, imagine having all of these prayers of people on your side. So what are you waiting for? Help us build this masjid, because until you donate, these bricks will be owned by someone else. And if we don't buy them, we can't have our masjid. Click the button on this video and build a house for yourself in Jannah, inshallah. And please share this video so you get the reward of all others who donate because of you sharing it. May Allah reward you.